Welcome to step eight of, of the uh, creating an effective workforce plan. This is about creating role profiles. So we've actually stepped through the process at the moment and we've, we've developed our workforce planning model and then we've also gone back, analyzed that planning model. Now we're looking at developing role profiles. Now, as I mentioned, you, can, you, you, you may do this earlier in the process if you like. Um, because at some point we need to sit down and develop role profiles. I think it's just easier to do this once you have um, already analysed your planning model and worked out what you need to do. So um, now role profiles are, I find, uh, a useful tool. You can more, do far more detailed position descriptions if you like, but I find that lots of people get lost in the detail and don't get the essence of the job right. So this role pro profiling tool that we've given you, and there are templates in the PowerPoint um, workbook, but also um, attached to the, this one, we have a, a standard word profile there if you want to do a, a more detailed role profile. So um, a role profile is really just a simple one-page plan, if you like, of a, uh, of a role. And what it does is get the highlights right for you uh, for each role. So, and you'll, once you get started, you'll get on a roll with them because you'll find that lots of the lots of the activities and things are interchangeable between jobs, um, and uh, it just needs some modification um, with probably more detail um, as you move down. So, anyway, have a look at the the video that's following on actually how to do the role profile, and start to build them. So, work th systematically through your uh, org chart. My advice is do the role profiles without putting any names on them to start and then and then when you've done that so do the role profile for, for a position and then go and put a name on it. Now you might find that you may end up with let's say for argument's sake you end up with an ideal role profile for a particular position and then when you look at that person you might say gee their strengths are in in these areas and they've got some weaknesses in this area so they're not a perfect fit for, for that position. But somebody uh, may have complementary skills and weakness to that person and therefore you can divide the jobs around a little bit so you may then modify the role profile for that particular person but make sure you've got sort of your standard role profile for each job so you're really clear on what you want now when you get down to um, below sort of management and supervisory level in your business you'll probably just have one role profile that covers a whole heap of people and you won't need to do a special one for each person um, but certainly at senior management levels, you need to do an individual role profile for each job and each person within that job, um, particularly if they're different. Okay, so let's just look at now how do you build a role profile. Just wanted to take you through a simple tool that, uh, that I use that was developed by the guys at First Executive uh, Recruiting in Melbourne. Uh, well worth having a look at. And it's called a role profile and what I like about it is it's a really simple tool to help you map out I guess the key elements of a role. You can go on from this and build a position description, a more detailed position description. This just fine, I guess I think defines a really good um, outline of that so you can then go on and do it. So a couple of key points. Um, first thing is you obviously put the title in there and then describe the purpose of the role so what is it to do and then think about the relationships and I just think about internal and external relationships and who they're with and what they're largely about and then the next step is to go to the outputs and think about what are the outputs need to be from this job so what are the the tangible concrete things that we need to deliver out of this job so we want you know in this example it's a, uh, a business unit coordinator we want to have growth and profitability reduce costs improve relationships stable teams safe workplace all those sort of things once you've defined the outputs then it's relatively simple to go through and define the key activities and so what I tend to do is go look at them and just come up with those, I guess those uh, headings that you can see there that says, you know, reporting and financial management and planning and that sort of stuff. And then once I've got those sort of large headings mapped out, then I go through and fill out the detail and say, okay, well, it's really financial management, what that's about. And we add in some of the things there to, you know, governance to ensure the company is compliant with relevant legislation and regulation. Once I've got all the activities, then I can do a bit of a cross-check and say, will those activities, A, deliver the purpose, 
and B, deliver the outputs that we're looking for. And I'll go through each output and make sure there's an activity, at least one activity, because often there's more than one activity that will deliver a particular output. More than, uh, so that there's at least one activity per output, and we're doing that. Once I've got all that, and I'm happy with that, then I say, what are the inputs required for this person to do this job effectively? So what do they need in order to funnel those inputs through those activities to give you those outputs. Once I'm comfortable with that whole picture, then the last thing to do is just look at competencies. So what are the key competencies required in order to complete this role? So that's a very simple role profile. We provided you with a worked example and also with a template, a word template for you to fill out your own. It's a simple one page plan of a role if you like. And I find it's a great starting point. Lots of people don't go much further than this, but if you want to, you can also develop a full position description based on this. All right, so that's how you build a role profile. If you have any questions, please contact me. We will use the role profiles uh, later on when we start to talk about personal development plans. Um, so they're an important component of your business and about getting clarity for people and what they need to do across your business. All right. If you've got any questions, just contact me. Thanks.